Hey guys, everyone Dylan here with um, how to port forward for your Minecraft server. Um, first of all, you need a router and you need to know your login, your password, and um, username to log into your router. It should be on the bottom of your router, on like a barcode or whatever. And it also have your IP address of the router to log into the router. So mine's 192, which is on the back there. I have a Netgear router. My stock password is stock whatever you want to call it. Um, standard password is admin and password, but I've um, changed that to something similar. So just log into that. And then, first of all, you will want to create a service. Okay, don't worry about that number two there. That's nothing. Okay, so you can call it Minecraft, Minecraft server, whatever you want. But I just left mine as name one, because I'm lazy. And then, should be able to choose UDP, TCP, UDP, TCP. Choose TCP, call it Minecraft or whatever you want. Start port and finish port will be 25565 for start and the finish. Make sure it's both. After you do that, you will want to go to port 40. Now, you add a new rule and you can choose whatever you want custom rule call it name one again just the exact same thing now you want to do TCP and UDP make sure it's both starting and ending ports 25565 that's for both of them again now the server IP address is the local IP address of the computer which you are running the server that I taught you how to make in my previous video so that's 192.168.04 but that's actually um, different for me now like this is how you figure it out on Windows 7 or whatever details here and it should be IPv4 192.168.04 but this is I'm um, actually on my laptop right now and my server's on my desktop which is one um, which is 192.168.03 so yeah, just do that, name, TCP, UDP, put in your local IP address, and then we need to go to firewall rules. Now, every time you restart or pull out the power out of your router and put it back in, your IP address of your computer with the server, if you have multiple computers, will always change. So sometimes if I take the power out because my internet's gone slow or whatever, it'll go from point three to point two point four whatever depends which computers I have on in my house at the time so every time you do that you got to change it so I got to log on back onto here to change it to allow my friends to connect to my server so inbound services you want name one you got to make sure that's the same as your service one and your port forwarding one so call it always call it the exact same thing action allow always your local IP address, make sure it's the same thing. I know mine's different, I don't know why it still works, but it does. <laughs> so I always change this, but if my um, IP address on my computer changes. So make sure that's the same. Wireless users, any, log always. Same for outbound services, exact same name, block always, any, any, always. And once you apply that, and you have your port forwarding exact same and your service is the exact same it um, yeah, should be good and then apply it all, save it all and log on to your Minecraft restart your server and it should work first yeah make sure your server's restarted it might be different for Netgear other Netgear routers but it should be the same um, I don't know about different brand routers, but just follow similarities. And that's pretty much it, how to run your Minecraft server. Peace.